Another Rugby League Friday and another away trip. This week it's to Leeds, so away days will come from Headingley Carnegie Stadium. Hopefully not under our own two continuing after winning this whole car in Castleford. First visits last year didn't see a win. And the second visits this year also didn't see a win. So hopefully the Leeds won't break it. More on the leg up to the stadium. Coaches arrived, off to Leeds. <laughs> Just arrived up in Leeds at the Headingley Stadium. Very short trip compared to what usually is. Just going down the famous alleyway now to get to the West Terrace. Southland is just in front of us. It's going down the other way to the West Terrace. Bit of graffiti by the, by the back. Just going through the turnstiles at Hellingley. Programmes £3, pound, which I'll still say later. One of the uniquest things about this stadium is that it's two stadiums in one. The Yorkshire Cricket Ground, as you can just see there in the distance. Home of Yorkshire Cricket Club, obviously. Nice signs on the Cricket Ground. Welcome to Yorkshire. Not been a very good welcome this year for Wigan, let's be honest. Still yet to win in Yorkshire in just under, well, just since the whole game last year really. This is just around the cricket club, you have to walk around the outside of the cricket ground to get to the main stand. Concession stands actually are in the cricket club itself. As we can see over there. Reasonable prices as well. Which isn't too bad compared to most rugby grounds. The joining cricket ground, home of Yorkshire County Cricket Club. Which means if you come for a rugby game, you can also come on the cricket ground as well. A lot bigger than some cricket grounds, I have to admit to that. Do we have a wider view? So, Yorkshire Cricket Ground backs onto Leeds Stadium, as you can see up the top there. Various concession stands over there in the corner. Now, here we are at Headingley Carnegie. It looks a lot small when you look at it from this angle, but I am sort of quite high up, so. But it is a big stadium, 19,000 expected here tonight. So it should be pretty packed out later on. Alleyway is just to the right there, which you just come under. Another sort of queer, queer thing about Headingley is, it's right next to the airport, which is why you can see a plane flying right above us. Folks, you still see a plane at a rugby league stadium for a long time. We're going to just come out to warm out. So it's waiting for Leeds to come out now. The rain started to pour, so everyone's going to get soaked. <coughs> Leeds programme. Otherwise known as Blue Number, £3, and it's a very good read, so I recommend it to any away fan. Out come the rest of the Wigan team. So it's all the Wiganers on the pitch now. Also in the far corner, you have the Leeds cheerleaders. I'm not too sure of what the name is, to be honest. And here come the Leeds Rhinos to a very rapturous applause from three sides of the stadium. Obviously not from the Wigan end. <laughs> Wigan training just down in front of me in the West Terrace. A little bit of pre-match entertainment for the band in the middle. It sounds a little like the band from Titanic. I'm not sure what type of music that is, is it? There's a, there's a word for it, but I can't think what it might be. Bit more entertainment before the game, Irish dancer from it looks like four different schools. A bit of, a bit of colour as well. Pink, green, orange and a white squad. Sides lead the field to a very good atmosphere from all four arms of the stadium. Kickoff is just eight minutes away. <laughs> Typical sky, it's gone eight o'clock and the teams aren't out yet. Sky love to delay these games, they really do. Very great atmosphere to be honest. Here come the teams. Out the wagon! Nice cloud of smoke just to choke all the players like. And obviously Leeds as well. Can't forget the rhinos, can we? And the stupid song that, let's be honest, it, this just gets on my nerves. The marching on together, sink and swim, is it? I don't know. Not an interesting song anyway, but hey. Wigan and Leeds, both on the field, winging against Leeds. 
in two minutes. The pack of leaves eight minutes silence. So now the atmosphere can crank up again. Leeds and Wigan, here we go. An absolutely frantic first half in which both teams just pretty good tries. However, Leeds lead 16 14 at the break. Wigan come out for the second half. Just awaiting the home side. How come the Rhinos currently winning 16 to 14 and a half time? So we're gonna need a better second half than the first half in order to finally get rid of this Pennine curse which I'm currently suffering. Ten months without a win up here. Well, it's becoming a tradition this. We can come to Yorkshire and we fail to win again. That's just under ten months since we won up here. And Wakefield's the next one and we all know what happened last time we went there. We lost. Next game we Wigan and Saints 19 so Leeds 26, Wigan 14, and a loss. Well, just arrived back in Wigan at midnight. Pretty ironic that. A new day. I think it's going to have to be a new dawn for Wigan, sadly, on away. Because it's been 10 months now since they've won away, and that was Hull last July. 10 months, 9 months, something like that, anyway. And, well, what can you do? Wasn't disappointing, I'd say, as in a way, so because despite the result, Leeds, as hard as it is to admit, is quite a good place to go to. The concessions are decently priced, even if you're in an open terrace, you know, it's not cold. You know, it is a nice stand, it is a nice stadium. I mean, can't think really think of any weaknesses, the mixed fans. At Leeds, it wasn't a problem tonight. In the past when I've been, it has been a problem. There's been trouble, but actually no problems tonight. So, I'd say the only weakness is the walk. If you're in the way fan, down the back alley to the stand, it can get a bit congested. So, I think all in all, Leeds would have to be a 9 out of 10. Depending on when I go back through the video, we'll see what happens. So the next away day is likely to be Salford. On Easter Monday, and the positive is it isn't in Yorkshire. So we'll see how that goes.